name is Kevin Fernandez and welcome to my channel, Gamers Genie. Today, we're going to learn how to play the adventurous train game, Ticket to Ride, the Asia Map. This two to five player game designed by Francois Valentine and Alan R. Moon and published by Days of Wonder. Uh, this is a map pack expansion to Ticket to Ride. So, just to let you know, you do need to have Ticket to Ride, Ticket to Ride Europe, Ticket to Ride Germany, or Ticket to Ride Nordic Countries. Um, and if you want to know how to play the original Ticket to Ride game, I'm going to leave it down in the description below, as, long as, as well as with um, two of the other Ticket to Ride games I previously mentioned. And I'm going to put the original Ticket to Ride game up in the video as well. Uh, so if you do not have the original, any of the Ticket to Ride games that I previously mentioned, I would probably check out how to learn how to play those games, and uh, then come back here and see if this is for you. But other than that, let us begin. At the start of the game, each player is dealt a long route. So we'll give one to Jordan, and one to me, and three short route destination tickets. Kind of just keep them near the board right there. Of which they must keep at least two. You place the long route tickets that you didn't select back into the box and they will not be used for the remainder of the game. Don't look at them. During the game, if a player wishes to draw additional destination tickets, they draw three new tickets. Of which they must keep at least one and all rejected tickets, either at the start of the game or following a draw of new destination tickets in mid-game, are discarded to the bottom of the destination deck, as in a regular Ticket to Ride game. Ferries are a special route, linking two adjacent cities across a body of water. So, like right here. They're easily identified by a locomotive car uh, symbol on it featured at least one of the spaces marking the route. To claim a ferry route, a player must play a locomotive card equal to the number of locomotive symbols that they see on that space. So if I wanted to cross there, I'd spend a locomotive and two regular red cards, place my trains on that location, And of course, discard the cards that I just used to claim the route. And of course, so just like I said, you have to play a locomotive card and the, of course the regular train cards you need to claim that route. The map of Legendary Asia is designed for two to five players. In a four and five player game, both tracks of a double route can be claimed, though not both, by the same player. In a two or three play and three player game, once one track of a double route is taken, the other one is no longer available to anyone. On this map, some double routes feature a gray route next to a colored route, like up here. The player claiming the gray route may use any set of cards of one color to claim the gray route, even if the color they use matches the color of the parallel route. Mountain routes cause wear and tear, so they're all marked like this on trains that travel them. These mountain routes are identified by the X symbols on at least one of the spaces marking them. To claim a mountain route, a player must play the usual amount of cards. So, say I wanted to claim this route, I have to spend two black cards, discard them, of the proper color and quantity, and place the required number of train cars on that route. The train cards placed on the route score points indicated on the route score table as normal, and that's all located down here. In addition, the player must discard one train car per X that they just placed the train on. These train cars are taken from the player's supply and placed on the mountain crossing area illustrated on the map. Each train car thus discarded 
immediately adds two points to the player's score. If a player does not have enough train cars left to place on the board and to discard for each X marked on the route, they cannot claim this mountain route. Some double routes feature a colored mountain route and a parallel regular gray route. The gray route does not pass through mountains and does not require a train car to be discarded, whereas the other mountain routes still do. The 10 point Asian Explorer bonus is awarded to the players who have connected the most cities in one continuous network of routes with trains of their color. This network may contain various branches connected to each other as well as loops, but each city on the network may only be counted once. Continue to score as you would for a regular ticket to ride. The player with the most points wins. If two or more players are tied with the most points, the player who has completed the most destination tickets is the winner. If still tied, the player who traveled through the most mountain routes is declared the winner. And that's all you need to know to, pl to learn how to play Ticket to Ride Asia Map. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I possibly can. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell to be notified for when our next How to Play video is, which will be How to Play Go Nuts for Donuts. Um, if you enjoyed this video, consider becoming a Patreon supporter on our Patreon page. You can support us for as little as a dollar a month, which can give you early access to How to Play videos like How to Play Go Nuts for Donuts. Um, I'll leave a link to that in the description below so you can check it out. Be on the lookout for our upcoming gameplay video on Ticket to Ride Asia, but until then, thanks for the views.